Hello. The thing in our, in our area is we want people to do things, not for other people to come in, do something. Everyone says, oh, that's very nice, goodbye. If we could use this as like a philosophy, and say the, the ideal that we're trying to achieve is that the art should follow one single purpose and it should contribute as much as it is within their own particular power to do so to the highest art of all, the art of living. We're going to be doing a neighbourhood arts project in each of the different 14 neighbourhood partnership areas over Bristol. Welcome, come and have a seat, we're just about to start. We've invited you here tonight to talk about um, the neighbourhood arts project for this particular area. It's very informal session. It's a chance for you guys to hear a little bit about the neighbourhood arts programme for Bristol 2015. And we're hopefully going to get all your local knowledge and understanding of the area and try and kind of come up with some ideas for a project. Quite a bit of that is being expanded, improving our open spaces and parks and that. Well, the area around here is quite nice because there's like shops and libraries, so if you get bored, children could come down here, read some books, and there's lots of places where kids could play. Do you think there's a good community spirit around here? I think it's a surprising one. It's, it's almost like a hidden one. When I first came to Bristol, the thing that I loved was just the proximity of green spaces throughout the city. It's really nice streams running down through the woods. You get loads of wildflowers in the, in the spring. It's like being in the country, but you're like, Absolutely. you can walk to the centre of town. Art has two faces, so you can be involved, you can be really connected and feel happy and appreciate the beauty, but you can be always moved to some other different feeling. The thing about art is art is for everyone and it's accessible to everyone. Art is a way of engaging with people and bringing their ideas to life. I, I like the idea of a, a route um, linking green spaces together across the area. And even if it's maybe refurbishing old bikes, you could get a community group together that's doing that and that could involve children yeah. and students. For the green capital, I'm very interested in sharing skills of reusing. It's like a totem pole, it's like an Indian with you know, lots of different parts of Bristol. It's information, it's art, and you can get the kids involved with decorating it, painting it and doing all of it. I'm going to assume that everybody cares about not just their community as in the one that they live in immediately, but also the wider community, um, the world. Children have an awful lot of ideas that haven't got a root to be expressed. I would really like to think of some sort of focus in terms of getting them involved um, talking about sustainability, yeah. uh, looking at recycling. Yeah, and it's, it's having conversation with people. I mean, if, if you don't talk to people, they don't know what's going on and we don't know what they want. What you're trying to find here is those connecting links at some point. The trick will be to link as many as possible together and, and to ensure as many people are included as possible all these communities together to work around building community facilities with what you've got. Wouldn't it be amazing to really push things to the limit and make something as big as, and as impressive right. as possible? So apathy versus creation are two giants and they're fighting. It's and, a uh, great and it's all grey, it's all like robot, it's all like really metal and robotic. And then it's Celebrate and showcase what's there, whether it's hidden, whether it's in the past, or whether it's just there and obvious and we haven't noticed it. But I also like the idea of actually having something that's concrete once the project's kind of finished, that you know people can say, this is ours, this is what we did, this is what we were part of. If you do it and you put it on, and it's wow, and it's colourful, and it's fun, and it's lively, people will come and they so enjoy it. I'm not really looking at as an end product in terms of a piece of artwork or something. Yeah. I'm more looking at what community actually can offer and build on, on, that, uh, on that sort of thing. Thank you very much. And please do take pizza and make sure you put your post-its up on the... Uh... It's a really interesting evening. Loads of ideas uh, and it's going to be a real challenge to try and channel those down into, uh, uh, into some specific projects that um, yeah, cut across as many themes as possible uh, around 2015.